If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Rising Star cards, who are actually really good, guys. This is probably the best crop of names for Rising Stars. We've gotten some guys where they just are giving them to us, but I really like pretty much every guy name wise in this Rising Star drop. And I'll get into why as we do go on and get onto this video. And before we do get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you need coins, head on down below to my sponsor. You guys know the deal. And if you guys do want to check out Underdog Fantasy, who I have partnered with, guys, in my code, which you will see down below the link, the whole bio stuff, you'll see everything down there. My code does get you up to a free $100 in bonus cash to go ahead and enter some more lineups with. So make sure you do check it out. I've been winning pretty big, guys. I've been, I've been on a hot streak. Five player props, back-to-back -back nights in there, which is really big, actually, and very hard to do. But if you guys want any help or any of that, check it out on Twitter or DM me down below. But yeah, let's get into this. So, we got Odafi Owe. I love Odafi Owe. I mean, he's really good in real life. I have a franchise where I'm the Ravens, and he's really, really good as well. Now, the thing with Owe is, remember, guys, athletic. he's an athletic beast. Like, he, maybe in Mutt, you wouldn't put him at a linebacker, but he's an athletic beast. He's six foot five, mind you, which is really, really good to know. He's tall. Uh, kind of like that Hendricks-esque, like he can get some crazy long picks. 91 speed, 90 excel, 90, 85 strength, 88 tackle, 84 play rec, 91 block shed, 92 power move. He gets the block shed and the power move threshold, as well as getting a 92 speed powered up, as well as getting close to 90 tackle, 91 excel, and he's got great height. I really like this OA card. Yes, it's similar to Jalen Phillips. Yes, it's similar to other guys, but none of that matters when we're looking at this from the situation that it is he's a great card in his own right and you really can't knock him i really like this away card by the way this is the rookie for the ravens uh they drafted him this year i believe in the early second round because they took bateman in the first right uh but always really good he's, he's looking really good in real life actually like he's made a lot of big plays if you guys watch any of the games you hear away with the sack away with the pressure away with the bat down away with the breakup like he's just been like He's been, he's been, you've heard his name a lot. For a rookie to come into that defense year one on a competitive team, it's pretty cool. But yeah, moving on, guys, we have Kadarius Tony for my Giants. This card was overdue. Now, yes, he hasn't had a few good weeks in a while, but that's also because he's been injured. He's been on a massive snap count because of the injury. And it makes sense. Like, I actually, I didn't get why they pushed him and Saquon back the first time, right? Kadarius Tony had this big injury where they said it's not, it's not season ending, right? When you say the word's not season ending, that implies that it's pretty bad, but like, he'll be back. They brought him back a week later. He literally saw like three straight plays of like 40 yards, sauced the hell out of some guys, and then hurt his own ankle. Again, I was like, but see, when you re-aggravate it, now it's like a three-week injury. That's just how that works. So I do like that they're taking a more patient approach to this time around. Get him in, get it, get it, get, get the blood flow going, take him out. It makes sense. It makes complete sense to me because you want to keep him healthy. And we're not going anywhere this year, right? I want to see Kadarius, Tony, and Saquon, and Jones, and Edgar, everyone healthy together. So take your time with them. We're not going anywhere. I'm happy to see it. 92 speed on Tony. That's great. 85 jumping, 88 catching, 88 catching traffic, 85 spec. 91 short, 88 medium, 88 deep. The importance here is that he's a slot guy, so you can get slot automatic really cheap, as well as like, um, you know, slot apprentice and stuff. When 93 speed with the great short running, he'll be a slot beast at a budgety price, especially if you get him for free from the wildcard Wednesday packs. I mean, I, if you guys have the um, the receiving strategy card, you will get his deeper running high enough too to be a really a pretty good card, honestly. I like him. I think this card's really, really good. Jordan Fuller, strong safety uh, zone archetype. 91 speed, 92 excel, 91 zone, 81 hit power, 88 man. This card's actually really good as well because he does get any card that gets a zone threshold and good speed, and you can get him for free. It's just never the worst thing in the world, right? And he gets some, he gets 81 hit power. His man with the right strategy cards for the lockdown one will also get up to a 90. His player X already, um, his player could be an 85. His pursuit's already above 90. This card's pretty, pretty good. This is a this is a good card. I mean, it's, they're not bad cards. I and mean, that's what I've liked about the Rising Stars this year. These cards have had some pretty good amount of stats. Well, like well rounded enough to where they're usable with some meta stats as well. Joe Burrow, Field General. Now, I don't believe he gets hot round master. It's been like the consensus we've pretty much come across. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think so. We'd have to see the rest of the stats. 83 speed. 91 throw power, 88 short, 90 medium, 89 deep accuracy, 87 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, and 90 play action. Now, if you look at this card overall, he's going to get the 84 speed. That's pretty good speed. He's going to get 92 throw power. That's good throw power. His short accuracy will be an 89. His medium will be above 90. His deep will be above 90. Like I always say, if there's going to be one thing I want to be slacking in, it's the short accuracy, so that's okay. 87 throw under pressure. 
Uh, he will get the play action above 90. He's throwing the wrong be 89. This card's, yeah, I say it's good. It's decent. It's not going to be medic quarterback by any means. Now, if you're a Bengals team team, of course, you don't really have many options here. You can go ahead and get Dan Marino, but if you're like a true diehard Bengals team team, like you don't use the Dan Marino, this would be more of an option for you. So as well, real quick, if you guys are wondering what I, when I kept referencing the word free throughout the video, if you do remember, there's the wild card Wednesday solos. Um, they do go away every week. So if you're wondering why you don't see them at times or why you can't get your free one right away. You have to play, I believe it's four weeks, uh, not directly in a row, but if you do do it in a row, you get it four weeks straight. You do get a free wildcard Wednesday pack, which allows you to take one of these drops and get a player from one of the, whether it's Rising Stars, Veteran, Flashbacks, Heavyweights, right? So make sure you guys are playing your solos. They do expire right before these things do come out. So make sure there will be a new release today. Make sure you go play that solo. For many of you, this could be a free one, depending on the timing of how, when you started. You know, because this could be, this every week could be a free one for someone, right? Because this could be someone's fourth week because they only played Madden four weeks ago. This could be someone's 16th week. This could be someone's 20th week. This could be someone's first week, right? So... If someone says it's a free week, don't don't un, don't think like oh they're being dumb because it's not your free week. It, it it's, it really just depends on the user and what weeks they miss. When when did they start? When did they end? When did they come back? When did they take a break? So uh, yeah, make sure you're playing those solos so you can go ahead and get your free one. I mean it's awesome if you can go ahead and get a free OA or a free Greedy Williams or Tony right now, especially for a theme team or just in general. Like that's just always a great value. So make sure you are going ahead and claiming your free one. As well as, guys, we do have a big special stream coming on Friday. Well, Thursday for Friday, guys. So I'm pretty sure all, um, Thanksgiving promo Autumn Autumn Blast is going to be revealed on Thursday, which is tomorrow, as well as the promo drop on Friday. So it should be a pretty fun weekend that we're going into. Stay tuned for that, guys. But thanks so much for watching. Uh, yeah, that's probably for that part, part of that. Let's get back to the rest of the video. Next, we have Greedy Williams. Now, first off, Greedy Williams is like six foot two, So you have some height here. You have a pretty physical corner that can go ahead and go up and make some plays. He's at 92 speed, so that's good. 91 Excel. 88 agility, 89 jumping, 83 play rec, 91 man, 90 zone, 88 press. This card may be the best of the bunch for this specific reason. Powered up, he'll have a 93 speed, right? 92 excel. He's six foot two, 89 agility. He'll get 90 jumping. His man will be a 92. His man will be his zone will be a 91. His press will be an 89. Now, guys, if you use um, the cornerback speed card or even just one of the lockdown cards, you're probably gonna end up getting press in one of those, and that will get you above a 90 press. So he's gonna be an all threshold man zone press corner with six foot two height and 93 speed on the browns this is a really 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 good card but overall guys that is all the rising stars for today hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course guys let me know down below who's your favorite if i had to rank them and from worst to worst to best i'd probably rank joe burrow as the worst one because he's the one that really just makes the least of a difference in comparison to all the other quarterbacks in the game it's like zach like zach wilson right like it's like it's not a big a big Monumental jump. So Joe Burrow last, followed by Jordan Fuller fourth, followed by Kadarius Tony third. Um, he's a great slot guy, but you know he is short on a lot of thresholds. Um, great overall though. Adafi Owe as number two, just because block shed power move threshold with insane speed. Just you can't you can't overlook that. And then Greedy Williams first because that's insane speed with all the thresholds. He's pretty lock and he's got good height. But yeah, that's gonna be my ranking guess. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, like I said, subscribe. If you guys need coins, head on down below and use my code at checkout. Make sure everything will be down below. And if you guys do want to check out Underdog Fantasy, cook up some lines with me and go ahead and enter some line big lineups as of, you know, this football th Thursday. We have Thursday Night Football. We have Sunday. If you guys need any help, hit me up on Twitter or DM me down below. Make sure to use my code for the free, up to free $100 deposit match. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.